the good thing about 2020. And it allowed me for a lot of reflection, yeah. honestly. And I think that's what it did for a lot of people. It gave everyone a deep breath. But then when that deep breath came, there was pain in your chest. Like we're taking this deep breath, but it kind of hurts. You know what I mean? I met Justice last year when we shot a fashion film together in Coney Island. I did an interview where I was asking all the models. How fucked do you think we are? <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not really good, you know? One particular answer stuck in my mind. What are you doing to make the world a better place? I mean, what I do in my position right now as an 18-year-old in Brooklyn, like, there's not much I could do when it comes to, like, the world. But 12 months later, I was scrolling through Instagram and saw that Justice had found something that he could do. Because that was the day that slaves were free. But were they really free? No. no. Were they really free? No. I wanted to meet up with him again and see what had changed. As the George Floyd situation occurred, I was angry because it's not the first time. It's not even a thousand times. This has happened since, since white feet have came on this country. This is what has happened. I guess you could say I was hopeful, I guess. And I think a lot of people were. More and more people are realizing the truth of America. And not only the truth of America, but the truth of the world. The very first protest that occurred in Brooklyn, I, I went to. It was like, all right, we as Brooklyn are standing up, we're doing something. Not only did I want to hear what people had to say, because that's the most important thing about all of this, is hearing what people have to say. It's hearing what people's experiences are. I was raised by a black mother, so I always knew and was aware of everything going on. Like my mother has grown her whole entire life experiencing prejudice, experiencing belittlement, experiencing people telling her that she can't do things. Everyone that has those experiences a platform to do to, to not only say how they feel, but to help you understand how you can do your part to change them. It's not just something that you post and then and then go along with your life. Like you have to understand and you have to want to make a change. You know? Shit did not change because they voted in a bill, in a constitution. Shit still hasn't changed. Okay. Over no goddamn constitution. Some people are so deeply rooted into an idea that to change that mindset and to change that idea, you have to dig and dig and dig. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but there's I disagree with that because you can always learn new things, you can always learn new ideas, you can always accept something that's new. Some people just look at it and continue scrolling and don't do much. And then other people donate, share, and that's where it starts. Because at the end of the day, it all comes back to one simple word, which is love. Like, it's all about loving each other. You can't differentiate somebody based off of color of their skin you can only judge someone by their character and it's i don't know sometimes you think too much about it and it kind of makes you sad and it kind of makes you just i don't know it kind of fucks you up i was really interested to know how justice would now answer those same questions i asked a year ago but do you have hope for the future yeah I have hope. I mean, that's all you could really have. <laughs> hope that somebody, somebody, you know, of like power, you know, makes a direct change. Yeah, I have hope. I have hope for my children. I have hope for my children's children. But hope isn't all that I can have. I can also take action. We're all pieces of a puzzle. You know, and when you start to feel powerless and you start to feel like, oh, I don't fit in that big picture. I don't even want to be part of it. You're already doing everyone else a disservice. It's when you understand that we're all pieces and realize that it's more about the actions that you take than hoping for another man or another person to do something. Because it could be one person that changes everything. If Martin Luther King decided he was, he was just like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand up and make that speech. You know, where would we be? How fucked do you think we are? <laughs> How fucked are we? <laughs> Not as much as we used to be. I don't know, this upcoming election, we're gonna see. What I do to make the world a better place, I mean, I just try to spread po positivity, really. What are you doing to make the world a better place? Everything that I can. 
<laughs> and I feel like even that is an overstatement because there's still so much more that I could be doing. When I do my best, I vote and I tell the people around me to vote, not only voting in the presidency, but voting who's in office in, in the states, who's passing laws, who's passing local laws, educating the people around you and remembering that love is the ultimate answer. As long as people understand that more and more, the less we're gonna be fucked, I guess you could say.